Now on the rundown, it says we have another guest. We do. And uh, we were talking about starting our happy hour here at, at 3 o'clock. Ooh, yeah. So if you want to get up and get that real fast, okay, I will. I will uh, I'll introduce our special guest. I figured, what a more perfect person. And may I add, the only female guest that we've had this entire time, of course, oh, this was God. this was my guest, and I had to bring <laughs> in my uh, my girl. We've got Erin Hardigan on the phone with us. Erin, hello. Why is Pepper not excited is what I want to <laughs> Because <laughs> why, is, why is Pepper suddenly running from the office as we speak? <laughs> well, you see, Tepper's been putting up with me all day, so the thought of putting up with his two favorite blondes is, is probably a scary thought. Well, listen, that that's true. By the way, we need that pizza eating contest to happen ASAP. That's for another Oof. topic. Um, yes. I wanted to surprise him like Bill Oakley did, but unfortunately, I was told by your digital director that he would know this voice all too well, having sat next to it for what, like 20 years now on TV? I, would... I don't know. I think I think he stopped counting. Yeah, I would assume <laughs> that that was uh, that's a very good that's it's it's reasonable. <laughs> Anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me ask you. Yes. Like, we always joke on Football Friday that, full disclosure, we do hit a point in the show where it feels like microwave time. I'm hoping we are past that on this uh, marathon here today and we can have a little fun. Yes. Here. Oh, here is the, uh, the, I'm back. the what I king of fun. Oh, God. Hard again. <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Hard again. I told I told Pickle I wanted to surprise you like Bill Oakley, but listen, you know this voice all too well. <laughs> yeah, this was congratulations, um, my friend. Yes. So, uh, hello, hi. Um, how are you? Uh, I am extraordinarily well now that I have my red solo cup filled with wine. In fact, that brings a, a question that I'd like to kick off this conversation with: of your one thousand shows, Greg Tepper. Yeah. How many? included you drinking wine from a red solo at noon exactly Ooh, Whoa. Spot. Uh, exactly <laughs> one exactly one and that was uh that was yours <laughs> we've we've long thought that you and i will eventually turn football friday into like our version of kathy lee and hoda but the knockoff the knockoff let's let's not get this confused we would totally be the knockoff version the knockoff because, version you know, of Kathy Lee and Hoda us. but we haven't done it quite yet and 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 I'm starting to wonder if it's ever going to happen <laughs> i don't think they trust us <laughs> listen okay can i just okay as we throw back to this story this is literally one of the greatest days of my life we you finally agreed that yes we could <laughs> Instead of goblets, we, we resorted to red yeah. The best part of the story was, remember, I had a bit of a hesitation with this because of the all too intimidating Adam Hochfelder. Yes. I said, are you sure? I said, I don't know if we should drink during office hours, like in the office. I said, Adam's going to be there. Best part, I'm rolling into the office. This, this is like the old one, right? I mean, this is vintage Texas mm -hmm. football today. This yeah. is 2017, I want to say. This so is, this is in not quite in the hostage den, but in in something like the the secondary, uh, the second studio, Cla have. closet esque. Yes, we could call it. Um, so I'm rolling in with like a twist off bottle of like Pinot Noir and a couple of red solos, and the first person I run into is none other than saint adam himself uh and I, I remember i looked at him and i go this is not what it looks like and he goes well i sure hope so and i also hope you brought a third cup i was like from that day forward i was like adam hockfelder's my favorite member of the texas football yeah. today family ever absolutely that's that's tough but fair um, <laughs> so i haven't we, you and i have exchanged a uh, exchanged a couple of of texts here but how have you held up without sports because I know well, like, you are, you I and I are what, wired like, in the same way. Last night, I was, I was, you know, hanging in. Yeah. We have live sports. Back. I mean, we have, like, live. I know. We have Dave and CJ in our living rooms again, yeah. right? But how did you survive the time, the dark times, the, uh, the, 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 the bad times, I should say? I mean, one goes without saying. Yeah. Our kitchens become, like, I'm, I've become a professional bartender here at the house. But, um... You know, I, I, I kind of, I got into obviously some Netflix dramas here. You guys were going over some of the, the top sure. uh, drama dramas up for, I believe the Emmys, was it? You mentioned Ozark. That's all I heard. Mm -hmm. Ozark was like one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I, yeah, I kind of dove into the whole like Netflix shows thing. We're on Kingdom right now, which is a highly recommended one. If you, if you like MMA fighting and, you know, drugs and money laundering and stuff of that sort and um, who doesn't? 
That's a cool. Listen, of the that's day. what I, that's what I'm into. Pickle knows this. That's oh, what, yeah. It's like drug, sex, and money laundering. I hate saying that on a high school show, but I mean that's kind of what we're into. We've also gardened to keep it PG. We have also uh, done a lot of landscaping. Um, landscaping. So that's been fun. Okay. So right. so so. But. You- so have you acquired any skills over the course of the quarantine or have you just been like just drinking a lot? I, well, that, is that not a skill? I, I guess I I'm confused. So. I uh, thought. Yeah, but you were that, already good at it. Well, I've also been work. I, I, I was told Pickle and I were going to do this like pizza eating contest. So I've also been training for that. Is that no longer a go? Where does that stand in a global pandemic? I mean, heck, we can we you can think, wait, sit six wait, feet apart and eat pizza. Here's my question: <laughs> did, did, did pickle, or I'm sorry, Hardigan? You'll have to ex- excuse me because I've been on the air since 9 a.m. But are you saying you could do the pizza challenge? I could annihilate the pizza challenge. By the way, our digital director is like in two rooms away and can still hear me, so he just shut the door. That's yeah, no surprise wait, to anyone. You, so we'll so continue you, on. You think, um, you think you could eat two pizzas in was it in a work day? Yeah, it, it was. It was eight are hours, you serious, eight Greg Tepper? You have known me for how many years? <laughs> I, I have to like know. control myself on the. I have to control myself on the free pizza before our football Fridays every night. Like, what? <laughs> I have like a, <laughs> I have to have self restraint. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I'm ready to make this happen. I'm ready to make this happen. Well, now I, I, I am and too. A place. Um, maybe I can get one of those masks that have like the little, you know, like the slit where you can slide food through. I don't know. We'll oh figure it gosh, out. That sounds, um, that sounds miserable. Hey, also, also quick question and a serious one. Hmm? Can we now refer to coach Ken Purcell as the two time Emmy nominated cowboy? That's right. Is that I love appropriate? That. For those who didn't know, I love that. Uh, the little show that could football Friday <laughs> is nominated for a Lone Star Emmy. I want to be clear. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. Well, that not with that attitude. Well, I'm just saying. So we're up against the Dirk like retirement, and we're Ooh, up and we're up Ooh, against okay. uh, what is it? Is it Tony Parker? Or... Yeah, I, it's funny. I worked on all three of those shows, so I thought that was cool. <laughs> we're up against the Tony Parker the Tony Jersey, Parker, retirement. Jersey retirement. It's retirement. like we have, and then it's just like week nine of high school football, <laughs> and it's like with with two dorks up there. It's like no, they're like we have we're, we're, uh, It's one of those things. Like, I will oh, have I will have you know, Greg Tepper. We have been voted America's least favorite television couple, and that means something. It does. That, mean something. Hey, an award is an award. Yes. It is. It, it's, it's, it's not, it's not nothing. So, um, so I guess now we, well, are... listen, I need the win because I, <laughs> Rick Renner calls me the Leonardo DiCaprio of Emmys because I, I've been nominated several times and have never won. I have not yet won an Emmy been nominated. Never won. You don't have any Emmys? Leo, Dica- Le- Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. That's, that's wow. crazy. That is crazy because, uh, I've, I've got, I've got two and I'm a, Dum dum. Oh, here comes sense. the flex. I'm just saying. <laughs> I I just want one on a gold chain like you, Tep. Yeah, I'm just, just the trying to like become Greg Tepper. That's why. That's why football Friday needs to win. That's why football Friday needs to win. It's Aaron Hardigan, <laughs> our friend from Fox Sports Southwest, joining us on Texas Football today. Get involved the conversation at hashtag TF today. Okay, so uh, earlier earlier in this, uh, I guess a uh, an hour ago, about an hour ago, we had Joey McGuire on uh, the uh, the associate head coach of the Baylor Bears. I know you and Joey have a. You needed a ratings boost, didn't you? You have a hit. I know you. you need, and, I know you and Joey have a boost. history. Okay. Do you have any Joey McGuire stories that are suitable for air? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you had to add that last part there. Um, let's, well, let's, I'll tell you this much: Joey McGuire's probably got some stories about me that is a that are maybe verifiable fact. Uh, well, listen. I mean, Joey was like one of the. Okay, someone actually asked me the other day. You know, and and this is being serious, which I never am, but here for a few moments, um, someone asked me the other day, you know, how, how I was able to kind of work up to where I am in becoming mm-hmm. the next Greg Tepper. Um, and I asked them, or I told, I told them, I said, you know, you, you need as a woman in this business, you need a pickle. You can vouch for me. You need men in your corner. It's great to have females. It's great to have, have girl power in your corner, but you gotta have some men having your back as well. And Joey McGuire is one who has always been in my mm-hmm. corner has always respected me and and um kind of helped help me mentored me kind of in this game called texas high school football and covering the recruiting aspect of it and the game aspect introducing me to other coaches and and for that um honestly i'm i'm forever grateful to him that said uh <laughs> 
he is one of the most entertaining. What what is what is it? Rick Renner calls him the people's champ. The people's the champ. People's he is champ. most. De- he and and Dwayne Johnson are most definitely the people's champs. Okay. Those two. So we had a question a little bit earlier when we were spinning the topic wheel, and I'm interested because I think you're you're a good uh, a good person to ask this question. Oh, yeah. Is there an achievement, a career achievement that you could obtain? That you would be that you would be willing to be like dust off your hands and be like I'm done like that's, I'm retiring like that's like I'm retiring it's never gonna get any better than that is there an achievement is there is there like a goal out there that you're like really really like like reaching for and if you get there it's like man mountaintop I mean Kathleen and Hoda <laughs> no I'm kidding I mean I, I don't know it's like, I've been asked it so many times and I'm like I don't know like I'm so grateful for all I've been able you know all the opportunities I've, I've had and all that I've been able to do I mean the fact that you know I get to share a desk with you each and every Friday night for what like seven seasons we get to talk I mean, honestly and this, this is the, this is the God's honest truth the fact I get to spend five hours every Friday night in the fall talking about football yeah. and sharing this state's stories and rivalries and tradition all with a crew that has become this little family to me and with the unwavering support and leadership of uh, the powers that be, um, I, I, I don't know, it, all in a journey that ends in like this Super Bowl-esque state championship coverage at like the greatest NFL stadium on the planet. Like that alone to me is like the prize. Yeah, the oh, fact yeah. that it gets these little Emmy nominations is the icing. Well, like honest, I mean, seriously, right? Yeah. And, and the fact we the, get, that's a, that we get to make a living doing that. Well, because you, you and I, you and I get, I think, get similar questions. And Pickle, I'm sure you're starting to get these questions too yeah. of like, well, what do you want to do? Like, where do you want to go? And it's like, I think there's people who Here. view high school football <laughs> as like a stepping stone and I get it. And I've said before, I do not begrudge people who, who say I want to pay my dues in high school football because I want to go write about the NFL or I want to pay my dues in high school football because I want to cover the NBA. I don't begrudge them. That's fine. I'm in favor of journalists getting paid plain and simple. But like for me, like this is too much fun. Like, like I don't, I like, I have almost, I have basically no desire to cover the NFL. Like none. That doesn't like, that doesn't appeal to me. And it's like, I'm sure, look, would it, is there probably like could I probably make more money doing that? Like maybe, but like would I be happier? Probably but not. But yeah, you get to tell the same stories that every other reporter's trying yeah. to tell rather than exactly. diving into the communities. And I know that we've all three had that conversation multiple times, but I think that's the biggest thing is we get to tell stories that really matter to little bitty small towns that no one's ever heard of. You you don't get to do yeah. that if you're covering the Cowboys. You're exactly you know? right. Um, well, and that's the thing. What we're doing is significant. It is enjoyed. Um, it wouldn't be possible, obviously, w- without all of our loyal viewers. And so that, yeah, so the Emmy nomination, like that literally just reassures how far our baby has come. Because let's be, we've been quite invested in this thing for a while now. So we, it, it is our baby. And, and I, I'm just, I am so honored and privileged just to bring that to living rooms each and every Friday night. She's Aaron Hardigan. She's America's sweetheart. She is uh, on Fox Sports Southwest. You can find her outstanding coverage of the New Orleans Pelicans and, of course, coming this fall uh, in a schedule to be determined. I haven't heard from from anybody over there, so it may not be with me. But on Fox Sports Southwest coverage of high school football, she is our good friend. Aaron, uh, I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye, Aaron. There she goes. Aaron Hardigan, uh, our good friend from Fox Sports Southwest.